years, and I found it from Boji. So it's a little bit different from the other projects you've seen today. Um, and that is extremely simple to understand. <laughs> so simple. Ta-da! So simple, even Donald Trump can get this. <laughs> so Trumpoji is an iOS emoji keyboard, and it currently has 19 controversial emojis. Um, but it did have 32 originally. So, um, so it's the best emoji app, believe me. It's it's a paid app for $2.99, uh, where you can send highly stylized cartoons of Donald Trump to your friends and family. And the 19 unique tropologies include Blue Janger, Get Pumped, Deal With It, and my personal favorite, Bald Eagle With Hair. <laughs> so before I kind of continue uh, with my presentation, I'll give a little bit of background about myself. Um, I'm a huge, huge advocate for micro entrepreneurship. So um, really, you minimize your downside and you maximize your upside potential. So uh, the worst case, you can learn a lot. And the best case, you really make some money. So um, most, most people know me from Ship Snowyo and Ship Foliage, which is uh, a foliage and snow as a service business. Um, Boston Globe named it the most creative startup of 2015. And from 2008 to 2013, I was the director of Ford.com, where I got to engineer some weird things like this. And um, so the process of making emojis is great again. Um, so the idea popped up in existence uh, in late December 2015 by a really good friend of mine, Jeb, who's over there in the corner. And it was the it's the first mobile app I've launched. Um, so I started. I figured, you know, why not launch the most the simplest app that I possibly could? And I looked at the app. The, the charts in the App Store, and saw Kimoji on number one. So I figured that there was an interesting market opportunity there to play around with a funny kind of themed emoji keyboard. Um, so we prototyped the app with emojis, and that took about three weeks. Um, and once we had the emojis down, we figured, you know, we got to develop this app. So I hired a local app developer, and that took about two weeks. But then, we were stuck in, in Apple review for about five months. <laughs> so awful. So, so awful. And we ended up having to launch with about half the amount of emojis that we originally did, which was a huge bummer because all the controversial ones were really what we were excited to be launching. <laughs> so just some learning lessons if you're interested in developing your own, your own app. Um, if you're setting up an Apple developer account with an LLC, this is pretty specific, but um, give yourself three to four weeks to finalize you know, your, the process. It takes so long. Um, and that's something that I didn't realize you needed to, to do. So, uh, Also, the Apple review time is now two days. It used to be seven days, which is eternity when you're trying to get a, a product to market. Um, and you can monitor app review times. Um, but there are also, also some other tips if you do run into some problems with your submission um, that we can talk about later. Um, so marketing. Um, so I figured, you know, Donald Trump is viral. He's everywhere. He's in the news. And a Trump's, uh, Trump-centric product would be viral, right? Of course. Makes sense. It doesn't work that way. So I had to come up with a clever marketing strategy to kind of build some buzz around it and pitch it around to, to local media outlets. Um, so we, we originally had a website that gave away all of our contra controversial emojis for free. And that included the Trumpa Loompa and the... Afro guy, um, and so we gave them those away for free, and that worked for pretty well for a little while, but it didn't really drive the amount of traffic to our website, and it actually lured a lot of hate mail, which wasn't great for us, um, for me in particular, so <laughs> didn't really want to be dealing with that too much, so we kind of also like took, took to the press and tried to get some inbound you know, articles and content written about us. Um, that worked all right, but it wasn't really a huge hit like our other companies, um, like Ship Foliage or Ship Snowyo, so it wasn't like a hugely big thing. Um, the culmination of this work, which is not even visible on the slide for some reason, was about 400 downloads and $1,200. That was it. And it took us six months to get this product here. So it wasn't a huge success, but I don't, you know, I think there's still a lot of potential with it, um, so we'll be launching something. Uh, 
something a little bit different soon. And so, this leads me to my question. Sure, I'll do it. We'll go ahead and take a question while I get it set up. All right, great. Any questions? Yes. Trump likes to sue a lot of people. Any religious action? So I'm raising a hundred million dollars to combat Donald Trump. <laughs> so no, I actually uh, so I had you know put it put my uh, established an LLC essentially and. Really put my name out there with this this app. I definitely, you know, originally didn't think it was going to be, um, you know, a big deal to have my name included with it. But as uh, as things evolved, it became more, um, it became a little scarier, right? So I stopped pressing it a lot, um, and that's kind of where my new project comes into play. So it's a more politically charged angle. <laughs> so I kind of took a more bias approach, uh, less biased approach, uh, where I launched the product and then Pro and anti, but not really. So, <laughs> that's it. Here it is. All right. I'm right. <laughs> Most people are familiar with Bug Bite. And I'm talking to Megan Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Yeah, I mean, when I was uh, when I was fourteen, I launched a hemp name generator. So it's uh, it was the first of its kind on the internet. Um, I was fourteen years old, and I ended up selling it for ten thousand dollars for two years later. Wow! Who bought it? The founder of Board.com. Like, if you're really bored, you're bored. <laughs> So what were some of the other really good Trump OGs that didn't make it? So the um, um, the big one was the sombrero border protection, which is him hiding behind a wall, a brick wall. Um, Apple was not a fan of that. So we went back and forth for about six rounds before it escalated to the manager. Um, and we actually had to take it down and resubmit it as a new bundle ID, which is just like it's entirely a different app at that point. But we still pushed it through and, and got it live. So it was it was, it was a challenging, but it was fun to finish that off. Could you do an uncensored Android version? I could definitely do that, but it would take time. I don't know. You might want to just try just a web version, of course, on yeah. iOS and Android and desktop. And that's really kind of where I'm thinking next. Yep. His likeness? Yeah, I mean, you, so I, I can't question number. What? Sure. Um, so, do I need to have Donald Trump Trump's like approval before launching a product like this? And the answer is that he's running a presidential race, so he's entered into the public domain, and you're able to characterize that persona. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing, and that's the statue that I'm fighting behind. <laughs> Yep. Over there. So, how like the iOS and iMessage improvement? Uh, honestly, I haven't looked into it too much, so that'll be interesting to see in September. Yep. I wondered if you considered launching a Hillary lie detector app. Lie detector? That's a good, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll have to talk. <laughs> it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. So, what's up the reaction? Who knows? I mean, the idea for this project really was to build kind of a template that I could repurpose a lot of different times, right? So, you know, I started with Donald Trump, but I could have evolved into yeah. Hillary or other angles, and that was kind of, you know, it was a test. And it originally was supposed to be a test that was going to take only two, three weeks. And it kind of evolved with this long process. So, um, from that, I don't really want to do another emoji app. You know, I think apps are, you know, very challenging businesses. I'm actually in the mobile business myself. Um, I work at GSM Games in the, in the gaming industry, and the amount of effort, data analytics, and, and the amount of work that goes into these types of apps is really, really challenging to pull off and execute well. Um, and that's why I decided to move with a paid app. So I wouldn't, you know, be kind of messing around with the free to play, free to play, but upsell to being a payer. And I 
I felt that this was a better way to monetize. I don't know if that answers it. Did you have a Trump poll over emoji? <laughs> Do I have a Trump poll over? Right now? Maybe. <laughs> 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 Uh, there, yeah, there, so 19 emojis, and they're all different, you know, Trumpisms from his just standard face of the life form that you kind of can see. Um, so yeah, you can check them out.